Welcome back to PSU's Tech Bytes. Today I want to talk with you about the batching capability introduced in Microsoft Graph. In fact, in version 1.0 of the Microsoft Graph, you have full support for batching. And what I mean is that you can make multiple requests at once using a JSON request message, which is based on JSON batching. In order to do that, you need to make a POST request targeting the dollar $batch endpoint of Microsoft Graph. And you have to provide a correlation ID for every single request that you have inside of a batch so that you can even define a, a dependency or a chain of dependencies inside of the batching request. For example, you can declare that one item, one request item inside of the batch is dependent on another item within the same batch request. Last but not least, if you are downloading content from the Microsoft Graph, let's say, for example, the pictures of all of the users that you have in your directory, you can use the batching capability and you will be able to download all of the images as base64 encoded messages inside of the batch response message. From a known issues and limitation perspective, first of all, you cannot make nested batches. So you cannot have a batch message with batch requests inside of it, which is pretty reasonable. Moreover, all of the requests inside of a batch will have to be synchronous requests. You don't have support for transactions, which is a more general limitation of the Microsoft Graph, which is not transactional at all, so shouldn't be a surprise. When you define a batch request, you need to provide a relative URL for all of the request items inside of the batch. And so the only absolute URL that you will use will be the URL of the batching endpoint. And moreover, when you make a batch request, you can use up to 20 requests inside of the batch. So if you need to make much more than 20 requests, you will have to use multiple batches. Last but not least, whenever you define a batch request and you use correlation, you need to define a fully sequential approach or a fully parallel approach, which means all of the items will be independent in the fully parallel one, or all of the items will be dependent one on the other in the fully sequential approach. So let me move to the demo environment and let me show you how to play with the batching capability of Microsoft Graph. So here we are in Fiddler and we will simply play with the batching capability making a POST request targeting the Graph version 1.0 dollar batch endpoint. We will need, uh, as usual, to provide the bearer token in the authorization header and we will provide a, an application JSON request. Within the body of the JSON request, we will have a collection or an array of requests where every single request will be made at least of an ID, of an HTTP method and of a URL that we want to use. So, for example, here I'm saying that I want to make a GET request for the ME endpoint, which will be relative to the version 1.0 of the Microsoft Graph, which is the one I have in target with my batch request. Moreover, I have a second item, a second request item, which will be yet another GET for a specific site collection that I have in my SharePoint Online tenant. And this one will be dependent on the item with ID number one. So the first one, just for the sake of making an example, of course. Then I have a third one, which will be a POST request because you can make GET, POST, PATCH or whatever else. You can play with the HTTP verbs in the batch request. So I make a POST request targeting the same site as before using it ID and targeting the collection of lists inside of that site. This will be dependent on the previous one, just again to make an example. And in the body of the POST request, I will provide the JSON message useful to create a new list called customers inside the target site. I define the custom list with a couple of custom fields and it will be a generic list. Moreover, in the headers, I will declare that the content type of the body is application JSON. So pretty useful. Now let me go to the browser and let me show you the target site. If I go to the site contents of this target site, I don't have uh, the customer list that I'm going to create using the batch. And if I go back to Fiddler and if I execute this post request in a matter of few seconds, I will get back a response from the batching infrastructure of Microsoft Graph and the response will be another JSON message in which I will have all of the responses for all of the messages I sent through my batch request. So I have a collection of responses and I have a body response as well as some headers of the response for every single response. 
So the request for uh, the me endpoint will give me back uh, my user object. The request for the sites uh, that I made uh, in the second uh, uh, step will give me back the site object. And the third one, which will be the request to create a new list, will give me back the information about the just created list together with the headers that will be useful for me to get much more information, like, for example, the e tag of the item which has been created. And now, if I go back to the site contents of my target site, we can see that we have the customer list which has been created inside the target site with the customer ID and the orders. So the batch has, has been executed and all of the requests inside of, of the batch has been executed. So really useful, really interesting capability which will uh, empower your solutions based on the Microsoft Graph. So thank you for watching this video and I'm looking forward to seeing you next week.